That's kind of what I'm afraid of. I don't think this thing is going to... I think this crankshaft is going to be too long to allow me to grip that thing. So that sucks. And it doesn't look like it has a woodruff key. So, I'm going to remove this crankshaft. I would need to tap it out, but as nice as this thing looks, I don't really think that's necessary. This engine's in pretty decent shape, and these bearings feel smooth as silk, so I'm not going to bother with that. <clears throat> I might just kind of clean up some of this crud I see here. I'm not sure how long, how old this engine is. There's a little bit of residue at the base here. I can probably get something in there and clean that. If I really care, I really don't think I do. It doesn't look that bad. So all in all, this engine's in pretty darn good shape. So there's the quick look inside. I'm going to determine how much more I'm going to do to this. I'm not going to do anything to the piston. It's clean. I'm not going to do anything to this other than oil it and when I put it back in. This I might just wipe off. This, <clears throat> I'm not going to do anything in here. I might just pull this cover off right now and you know, see if I can see what the timing is just to make sure the timing is right. But I mean it ran fine so I don't think there's an issue there. I can also check and see if there's any if this thing does anything as far as feeding lubrication back in here now I would think well, let's see here it's connected to the intake manifold and yeah, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that thing there is <clears throat> you're not going to get any lubrication from the anything from the intake manifold so that bearing looks kind of kind of darkish let's get this at top dead center here I have a flashlight in here. Yeah, this engine's timed properly. Yep, no issues there. That engine's timed properly. So what I'll do with this is I'll probably just get a Q-tip with some LA's Totally Awesome cleaner on it and clean that out maybe. We'll see. All in all, this engine's in fine shape, and uh, maybe the reason that it wasn't developing what the original owner thought was the proper power was just because it wasn't broken in properly. But uh, that's this look inside so far, and uh, we'll take it from here. Alright, so I spent a small amount of time cleaning these parts up. Not a whole lot. It wasn't really all that bad. So here's the head. It had a little carbon exhaust or exhaust residue there. It's cleaned up here pretty nice. I did not drop the valves. I just left everything as it was. I pretty much just soaked it in totally awesome cleaner and brushed it out a little bit. Back plate, wiped it off. That's all I did. Sleeve, dropped it off or dropped it in LA's totally awesome cleaner, wiped it off. I need to oil it up. Crankcase, really didn't do anything to it other than throw some more oil in it. I did take this uh, timing gear out. It actually kind of came up dislodged. <clears throat> so I kind of used a swab with some totally awesome cleaner and cleaned both bearings. Oiled it up real good so that's nice and clean. Piston. I just kind of dropped it in LA's totally awesome cleaner once again for about three minutes if even that and then just pulled it out and wiped it down. I mean this engine looks brand new. There's really nothing wrong with it that I can see. I did measure these push rods. Now these push rods, I don't think I've got my camera is quite good enough to actually zoom in and take a picture of the tips of these things. But they are slightly different. Now the push rods are the same length at 56.4645 millimeters. They're both the same length. However, they're shaped slightly differently. One is more flat and another one is kind of got a conical shape to it. 
I don't think they're supposed to be like that. I think they're supposed to be exactly the same, but as long as they're exactly the same length, I don't care. That's fine with me. They'll work. Let me just make sure. Yeah, there's a big cup here for those things to fit in. And I don't see any evidence. They didn't look damaged at all. They just looked like they had they're just different shapes somehow. And it's funny though because one end does seem to be considerably more polished than another. And the other end. So I don't know. Something odd might have happened here. Like I said, they're both exactly the same length still. So I don't know. I can't really explain that. I'm calling them good. I'm going to reassemble this engine. And actually, I'm probably going to kind of treat it like it's a new engine. And try to start it, run it pretty rich. And see if I can't get the power to come up. Now this gasket did disintegrate. Half of it came off on the intake manifold. Half of it stayed here. So when I go to put this back together, I'm going to use some of my Permatex Moto Seal Gray Gasket Maker and just make my own gasket from there. So uh, next step will just be to assemble this engine and then take it out and start a break in on it again. But uh, this was a look inside of this Magnum engine. I'm probably not going to shoot video of assembly because there's really nothing to it. It's just a four-stroke engine, and I've got plenty of those assembly videos on my on my YouTube channel. So. This concludes the look inside of this Magnum XL 91 RFS 4-stroke engine. Next video of this will be of it running.